Hi guys, thanks for joining me. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing an updated review on the Duonamic Alivia portable pull-up bar, the door frame pull-up bar. I have done a review video on it before, which is about six months old. I want to do a bit more of an updated one to give you guys sort of the know-how to see whether this thing has lived up to my expectations to let you guys know whether this is something you want to invest your money on. So let's jump straight into the video. So, so far, the pull-up bar has been fantastic. A few of the times that I have traveled, this sort of thing packs away very, very easily. It fits on most door frames. What I like about it compared to say a typical door frame pull up bar is it doesn't seem to cause any damage to the bar. I think it's to do with the sort of rubberized plastic that are on these engines. Very, very smooth like that. It's hard, but it's smooth. Doesn't seem to damage any of the door frames, which is perfect because obviously I'm renting. There's gonna be other people that want a portable pull up bar or a door frame one, and they're worried about damaging their door frames. Again, if they're renting, you don't have to worry about which side that you have this on because sometimes Sometimes, like for instance, this door here, I wouldn't be able to have the pull-up bar or a normal tall frame pull-up bar on this side because this door is in a way. This has a flexibility of fitting on virtually every doorway. As long as it's got a little ledge that you can knock onto, you have that. The fact that you are able to move these, I really like because again, adjusting the width is gonna be different for each person and actually changing what you're doing allows you to make it progressive as well. There are some cases where doing wide, doing narrow, doing shoulder width can change whether the pull-up is more comfortable, a little bit easier depending on how we are built, but it also is a way of making it progressive. As usual, like I always say, having that ability to rotate the bar makes it very, very comfortable on, on the shoulders, on the joints, on the wrists, on the elbows. So what I like about these is you do have that. The only thing that I would like to see on these is if they made the string that little bit longer, because if you rotate too far, sometimes because it's shorter, it kind of gets twisted. It's kind of like doing them on pull-up bars. If you have them not long enough coming off the bar, sometimes there's a little bit of resistance in rotating, but it's nothing too substantial. You do have a good amount of rotation, but if you wanted to go from a pull-up all the way into the chill-up, as you can see, there's a slight little bit of resistance there, but nothing major. But the main benefit of that is obviously having that ability to rotate makes it a lot more comfortable on the joints, especially the wrist if you're someone that's doing chin-ups. What I do like is the addition that they have added with the power holds. I've recently done a review on the power holds themselves. I'm a huge fan of them. Anyone that wants to take their pull-up training to the next level by actually increasing their grip strength, the ability of our fingers, because if we can train our fingers on an individual level, or overall hand grip, everything is gonna go further. For a lot of people, it's their grip, their grip strength that actually slows down their progress when it comes to their back training or their pull-up training. So these are a really great thing. So I do recommend checking that video out after this. But these are great because you can actually add them on to here. So you actually can take your normal pull-ups that you would have here, which again, this is a nice comfortable hold, but once you add on these, the amount of different pull-ups that you can do or the finger grip training, you can't replicate unless you're either at a bowl gym or a climbing gym to actually be able to test your finger uh, grip strength in a numerous different number of ways but also have the progressive idea that you can change the angle here you can actually change the angle on what you're actually doing to change the angle of the actual shape to make it harder or easier so you have the progressive nature the flexibility of the different handholds you can have plus you have the magnets that can go inside which can actually then make it even harder on how deep that you can go Adding this to it is just making this more of a well-rounded product. Do you have to get both to really take advantage of it? No, but I do think what makes this even better is having something like the power hold. So I do recommend if you are gonna get it and you're gonna invest in it, adding in the power holds as well is gonna be a great thing to do. There is a link down below where it takes you to the website if you wanna check out these products. Also, there's a discount code. So obviously if you're getting both, you're gonna save more. But so far, the Duonamic Alivia pull-up bars or the pull-up bars have been something that have been a great addition addition to my training. I work in the office here when editing videos or doing anything like that. And what I tend to do a lot of the time is whenever I'm coming in or out, going to the kitchen, grabbing food, coming back in, is I'll pop up and I'll do a set of pull-ups, whether I'm doing the normal ones, whether I do some finger ones or some holds or whatever to test my finger strength. So adding something like this in, which is gonna allow you to start doing pull-ups a lot more often or do, sort of doing a grease to grue sort of style of thingy where you just periodically throughout the day, cracking a set of pull-ups. These have been fantastic. Again, I could set up a pull-up bar but it's very very limited and it's going to cause more damage to door frame these have been fantastic and a few times i have traveled i've taken these things with me and they've been fantastic as long as i can do pull-ups i'm pretty much happy because 
you've got space to do a pull up, maybe do some push ups, you can pretty much hit your whole body, squats anywhere. So these are a fantastic addition to your pull up or your calisthenics equipment. So I do recommend you guys check it out. If you need a little bit more info to go in a little bit more depth, again, this was sort of just a clarification of sort of talking about some of the things that I've liked, what I thought about it, and whether it is still something that you guys should invest your money in. That video is going to have a little bit more detail on all the little minute things that go into it. So if you want more detail, a little bit more clarification on some of the points or some of the things on it, I do recommend checking it out. I'll leave it at the end of this video and also the review on the power holds. If you want to check that out at the same time, there will be a review on that as well. And as always, all the information will be in the description down below. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you want more content like this, and if we do have calisthenics or fitness or equipment review, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified of whenever I upload. And I'll see you guys in the next video.